In this video, we're going to look at articles. You can import an article by going to Design and Background and placing a dot in front of Factory Article. In the drop-down arrow next to the default article, you'll see that there are several different categories of articles. I'm going to choose a kid's t-shirt, and I'm going to choose the front of a boy's t-shirt. I can change the color by clicking on the drop down arrow next to color, choosing my color and clicking OK. The design is shown on the article and by clicking on the zoom drop down and going to article, it will show me the design and the article in full screen. The design is automatically placed in the center of the article, but I can select that design and drag it and place it where I want the design to be. By changing the position of the x-axis to zero and pressing enter, that is going to move the design to the center of the article. Now let's talk about getting this article to its actual size. First, I'm going to activate the measuring tool in the software by clicking on the M on the keyboard. This changes my cursor into a ruler, and I can click on a point of the article, release the mouse, and drag it across. And I'm going to go shoulder seam to shoulder seam. And by dragging it across, it's going to give me the, a measurement across the shoulders. Let's just say this is 15.5 inches. Now I will take a measuring tape and measure across my actual shirt. And let's say the actual shirt measures 18 inches. By pressing escape twice, I can get rid of the measuring tool. Let's go in to our programs, accessories and calculator, and we'll do some math to determine how much to increase the size of the t-shirt. I enter the measurement of the actual t-shirt and divide that measurement by the measurement that I got on screen. And when I select equal, it's going to give me the percent of increase. I'll close that out. So I'm going to have to increase the size of the article to 116%. I go back into the design view in the background and I'll change the scale of the design to 116%. And when I press OK, the t-shirt will grow in size. This is now going to give me a much better idea if I need to increase the size of the design or if I like the design the way it is.